Ghost Ball. Thump, thump, thump. Written by Adam Valdivia. I woke up in the middle of the night with sweat covering my body. Oh man, why does tonight have to be so damn hot? This summertime bullshit needs to hurry up and end. I have to be up in a few hours. Thump. What the fuck? I said in response to the dull thumping sound coming from under my bed. What the hell was that? I wondered. Oh, I need sleep. I turned over and flipped my pillow, resting my face against the cool, soft fabric. I was beginning to nod off again. Thump. The soft, dull thud underneath my mattress woke me again. I was a little startled. Shit, man, I said hoarsely. Could it have been the springs? I thought. I've never felt the springs do that by themselves before. It must have been. What else could it be? I again rearranged myself to a more comfortable position and waited a moment to see if the springs would make that thudding sound again. My eyes grew tired. I was drifting off to sleep. Thump. My eyes shot open and I began to panic. The thump was coming from the same spot. I got up, off my bed, and looked at the mattress. Examining it, using only the moonlight to investigate the bed, it didn't seem any different. Maybe I should just move to the opposite end. I gave a heavy sigh and moved over to the spot my fiance usually laid. She was probably still downstairs working on her art projects. She only had a few weeks left and in her mind it wasn't enough time. The last few nights had been pretty lonely without her. Since I was already up, I decided to use the restroom and then I crawled back into bed. This time, on the other side, I closed my eyes and attempted to fall asleep. Thump. I opened my eyes again. I checked my bed and noticed that there was a gap between my mattress and the wall. It looked like some of my pillows had fallen through the spaces, so I pulled them up. My heart stopped. There, staring back at me, were two milky white eyes. I took in a deep breath and blinked. They had vanished. I quickly grabbed the shotgun from my closet and peered under my bed. There was a space that was virtually empty, except for a pillow that had fallen and a couple of shoe boxes. I went downstairs to check my fiance. I saw her laying on the couch. She must have fallen asleep down there again. This lack of sleep was killing me, I thought. I walked over to her, and I kissed her head, and I told her goodnight. I didn't want to wake her since she had been working so hard lately. I went back to the room, put my gun away, I laid in my bed and fell asleep. Thump. I woke up again feeling really pissed off. I looked at the time, only 3.45. I was about to pitch a fit when I turned over and saw my fiancé had finally climbed into bed with me. She must have made the thumping noise. I guess I couldn't be mad. She didn't do it on purpose. I put my arms around her and I noticed that she was freezing cold. Girls are so weird, I thought. I ignored it and put my arms back on her anyway. I can't wait to fall asleep, I said softly to myself. Damn, Sarah's gonna get a laugh out of this when she comes back home tomorrow, I said to myself. Wait a minute, Sarah, Sarah's out of town with her family. My heart was pounding in my chest. I slowly tried to climb out of bed and get away from whoever it was laying next to me. Thump. The thumping sound came from under me and whoever was laying next to me roused. Where are you going, honey? Said a raspy voice. The person laying next to me turned up, its cold, dead, milky eyes staring back into mine. The person's lifeless. Almost featureless face broke into a disgusting smile. Don't you want to cuddle? Hi everyone, Ghostball here, and I just wanted to say thank you very much for listening to this video. I also wanted to apologize, I'm kind of fighting a cold right now, so if the audio is a little off, sorry about that. But anyway, thank you very much so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment down below for anything else you'd like me to see. And remember, Ghostball is always hunting.